Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're still not into the map, someone else. right? Uh, it's dark, so I'll wait until morning. I don't know if there was actually any point to it since I'm going to fast travel anyway because we kind of want to get you know the Gibson Scrappy I think then hey so you're back now where did we leave off Dr. Henry sent me I need a new brain for my cyber dog Dr. Henry now there's a name I haven't heard in years hard to believe he's still alive as for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Ray's like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. I understand. Here we go. Here, Ray! Mama's got something for you! <laughs> Did they just steer him up? Okay, fine. That will do. A bit unexpected, to be certain, but uh, that will do. I'm quite sure that will in fact do the deed. It will be sufficient. Words, 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 those are really plain looking mountains. As in, you know, no decorative rocks or anything. Someone's watching me. I can feel it. Hello. Is there something else I can do for you? Stick it in Rex's brain. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. The brain is from Ray, one of old David Gibson stocks. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. That'll do. Have a seat. This will take a while. Wait. Seriously? I only just waited till morning. Oh, fine. Should we ask Lily to join us? Or... Nah, not now. But I do wish to go and run by the gunrunners for a change. Not really a change since I visit the gunrunners pretty Welcome, often. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I do. I am ready to process our transaction. Good. I sold my thing as well. My drill carbine. Despite the fact that it's technically a better weapon than my hunting rifle, it just doesn't do the tricks as well as it could yet. Okay, let's head to this trip. I wish to have a quick bounce around uh, my apartment, for I have reason to visit that. My suite, even. There is something I acquire from there. And that is storage. I need to put away Bushy. And I need to put away that weapon. Yeah. Where to, partner? Upstairs. My room. I do hope that storing my stuff here is not going to be an issue once things go uh, a little bit less than ideal. If you know what I mean. If you know what I'm referring to. Because uh, things are going to go less than ideal. And you might know what I'm referring to. Workbench. Make me some steam packs, will ya? Thanks. That means I'm over 101 now. I may have been already, but I know. I, yeah, I was already. Still. I must have a reloading bench as well, right? Yeah. Because I bought all those primers, right? And I'm sure I have some lead and casings and whatever. In the whole 308 size. 
Must have. Is that over here as well somewhere then? Or are they telling me I don't get a reloading station in this building? Yo. No, you don't. Those are not upgrades. Those don't at all look like upgrades. It must be a station. It must be. Why would it be? I don't even... Huh? Maybe this is stationed somewhere in the building, so... It was not necessary to put another one in here? I don't know. Get me out of here. Roller, sweet. Casino. Casino floor. Yeah, and then we're gonna go tell the king the good news. Rex is going to live, and he now has a bigger, meaner bite. So I guess it's not really mean, it's just more painful, I guess. Okay, I'm ready for anything now. This is the city of uh, New Vegas, the free side part of it. And there is the risk of having to cut people up. So I'm gonna have my sword on the ready. I ignore the fact that Rex is probably just going to tear them apart. Alright, I don't know what happened there, but... Thanks, Boon. Thanks for making Veronica run in slow motion. Is the king upstairs then? Why can't we skip through there? I know it where it leads, it's hey. not really exactly a hidden place. And they still can't sprint like that, it's just gonna make me run slower. That's, that won't help. Well, that's actually going to even make me walk. Which is even less useful for moving quickly. I guess uh, Skyrim and the Discons Online have, have both gotten me used to being allowed to run around really quickly. Why, Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? He sure did. You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. Can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. Was there anything else you wanted? Hmm. What can you tell me about Pace, sir? Pace? He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. Okay, see ya. Alright, I'll see you later. But now what do we do? We for the Republic Young Hearts. Yeah, I should probably be able to do that now. I think it was a speech thing, right? And then let's you know, we can talk down a Nightkin. I don't think a, a trader is gonna give us a lot of trouble. Unless it's a part of thing, in which case What's up? we have fudged. I don't think it's a part of thing. It's a dark time though. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Rubs. We could check there again, I guess, but we don't really need to. So let's not. Alright. I should look into finding that thing though. Benny is still an issue and we still haven't visited any of the casinos. Hmm. 
Alright, so the permanent merchants were in a bit of trouble there. Got the hurt real bad with it. Yeah. Hey there. Need anything? Want the steam pack? Sure. Here's what I've got. You probably don't actually want the steam pack. Yeah, you've got your own. So it was fiends that were knocking the place about, eh? Yay! Quite a distance for a handgun shot, I guess. Right, so we're gonna get the nightmare ch uh, challenge done at least. So. They did take down a trader there. Hmm. Not ideal. I'm kind of surprised they even found this place. How did you get here? That's the, that's the merchant thing. Her getting here is not exactly surprising. I suppose. But is there anything of mine that needs repairs? My hat is getting pretty broken. Let's use glasses to repair them. Sure. Uh, bright rope for you. And uh, weapons. My hunting rifle is doing A-OK. -okay. My katana is doing excellently. Everything is A-OK. -okay. It's all good. All good. So that's fine. Fiend, uh, you don't have anything good. Brahmin, you only have me. Uh, we checked you, didn't we? You yeah, did. This one we didn't check yet. Laser rifle. Yeah, sure. How about I aim my gun at you for a while, see how you like it? Uh, that won't be necessary, I was just looking for this mercenary. You know how it is, Boon, we're friends. Right? I think we're friends. And consider your friend, Boon. You know, we, we're doing against the things. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Alright, um... Guess we just walk right in. Those free side to the rifles with Then. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? Who are you? The name's Hostum. Don Hostum. Can I help you with something? Who are you? I already told you I'm Don Hostum. Who are you? Okay. Where's Alice then? Do we have to wait for an appointment? Because I'm gonna have to wait for an appointment. Right. Okay. Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. What do you think of that, Veronica? What do you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. Indeed. Indeed. Um, okay. See you around. You don't have information regarding Lorenzo. So, welcome back. Uh, so, Janet's asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract? My terms haven't changed. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. Are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time for of happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. 
But I'll allow it, just this once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Excellent. I guess I should tell Janet now. And then we can also go and do other things. Hey. Janet. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? You are really shiny. I convinced her to pay you that you're pay you what you're owed. You're free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Excellent. So uh, let's get back to the Nelly Sangers. You know, if nothing else works out, at least these guys like me. Wait. Oh, is Janet not here yet? Maybe. Maybe she died on the way here. Maybe she was encountered by the Legion. And maybe, just maybe, they decided to disembowel her and just leave her in the ditch. What will I then check? Hey. How are you? You're good. You? Treat the patient. After careful considering treatment options, you realize the patient is merely having a strong re allergic reaction. By cleaning all wounds of antvenom and administering a steroid compound, you reduce the swelling and the patient's breathing returns to normal. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. If I haven't said it before, outsider, let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Word from Pearl is that you are to be greeted as a friend. Yeah, I finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't get blown up. I won't. <laughs> oh my. Oh. That was that was that was a joke. Stop it. That's just a joke. <laughs> We're all good now. We're all good. Women's barracks. Let's go. Uh, no, let's not go. Ready. Let's go to the schoolhouse. Sure. Actually, we need to go to the museum. Are you okay? <gasps> Look at all those mini boomers. So many mini boomers. Let's get out of there. I, I don't think that's an appropriate place for us to be. Though, they might like Rex. Rex is, you know, might be good with children. Loyal's house. Ellis workshop. Boomer museum. Beat. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. I am. I'd like to know more all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mural on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Yes. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Ooh. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. <laughs> we left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one.
And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Hello. Hi. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Kaboom? I have some questions about your people's history. Ask away. Uh, how did you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. We have already done that. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. Anything else you want to know? Is it already done? Yeah, okay, um... That's enough history for now. Alright. Is there something else you'd like to talk about? Not really. See ya. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Do you want to talk? Whole future of New Vegas seems like it's up in the air. Guess I should wait things out before buying a condo in the Ultralux, huh? Yeah, probably. See you around. I thought you were supposed to say something. Okay. I don't know how she works. We do apparently need to wait for a day though, so let's just do exactly that. Okay, not exactly that. Are they both here now? They are. Good. Let's go talk. Unless Janet did actually die now. In which case, whoops. Actually, let's leave that for next episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. You're really shiny looking. I won't judge. It's probably because you're really happy. Because you got to... Move together with some handsome bloke you saw in the distance Like past a bunch of craters and you were like Huh I bet, I bet he wouldn't shoot me with a howitzer Yeah, 